What's going on, YouTube land? It's your boy, Drizo, and I'm back with our On The Streets reviews, guys. We're going to be interviewing some people. This right here is my good buddy, Gary. Gary, how are you doing today, sir? I'm good. Good, good, good. So, basically, this is going to be over the Second Amendment, guys, so let's get into this. Gary, what are your thoughts and views on the Second Amendment? Well, the Second Amendment, uh, it, it protects all the other rights that we have. Uh, First Amendment rights mean nothing without the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. um, the ability to not only have a the second amendment wasn't meant for just a militia right. it's meant for me and you yeah. to protect our families and to make sure that a comp confiscatory government um, keeps their hands out of my pocket right very good very good so would you say that it has anything to do with hunting very little i mean I, uh, I haven't hunted in years, but it's it's not for that. It's it's to protect your family and to protect our rights as citizens of this country uh, for times that the government is uh, doing things that they're not supposed to do. They we have a certain our our rights don't come from the government. Our rights come from God, um, and the Second Amendment guarantees our ability to protect our own rights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very well said. And uh, and then we obviously come across the, the issues of, uh, in this country, we have prohibited people. Um, people that have committed felonies, Class A misdemeanors, they've had one too many DUIs in a short amount of time. We've had people who have more than two, I think, drug charges in 10-year span or are prohibited. Um, do you think there's any kind of justification on prohibiting people from owning firearms? There's nothing in the Second Amendment that says that uh, well, as a matter of fact, the Second Amendment says that the government cannot cannot uh, make laws that infringe on your rights due, based on the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. They can't make it where you can't own a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, those laws are not, in my opinion, are not constitutional. Okay, very, very good. Um, and then, so, because people would argue the Second Amendment says, you know, for the militia, and you've already stated that it's that's not what it's about. It's an individual's right. We've had several cases in the 1900s that have proved that it is an individual's right. Um, do you do you think that the Second Amendment on its own should be given and taken, kind of like everything else that we have? Like no one kind of applies that to our First Amendment rights. You know, we don't we don't hear only the newspapers now are allowed to speak out freely. Uh, anybody can do it. Um, so I guess is is there any point in time which you feel that uh, someone outside of prison should have their rights stripped of them if they are an American citizen and paying taxes? No. The short answer is no. Um, there are, you know, it's kind of a slippery slope when you start trying to decide who who gets to keep their rights and who doesn't get to keep their rights. Um, because right now there's there's such a, a liberal push in the, not just the media, but liberal district attorneys and attorneys general of, of particularly Democrat-run states mm -hmm. that that don't want well, cash, uh, no cash bail, uh, turning criminals loose on the street. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's I don't think that it, they have the right to take your rights away. But then on the other hand, they're letting criminals out on the street. Um, criminals don't, they don't pay attention to their rights anyway. It's just like a, a, a lock on a door. Right. It's to keep honest people honest. Yes. Um, laws about guns, the only one that's going to follow it is me and you. Absolutely. Um, Law-abiding citizens, criminals are going to do what, they go, what they're going to do anyway. Yes. No, you're absolutely right. No, I completely agree with that. Um, guys, let us know in the comments down below if you do agree with that kind of statement. And then I guess basically what that says is, do you think that because of this, our, our country has become a little soft-handed on crime? Would you say that people don't learn their lessons, therefore they just think that, oh, I can go to jail, you know, I'm in there for a couple hours and I'm let out, you know, and now we've got the thing in, uh, I believe it's Illinois, where anything besides capital murder, they just give you a ticket and set you out for a court date. Do you think that we've become too laxed? on on punishment in general yes um i think i think there's there's been a a liberal push toward a first of all a godless society mm -hmm. um and that 
they want to allow people that the ACLU, I, I call it the American Criminal Liberty Union. <laughs> That's good. Um, they, they try to make it where the only ones that are, the criminals are, it's like the, the tail's wagging the dog here. Uh, that's kind of what I have to say about it. Okay. That. All right. Very good. Well, guys, um, that's going to be it for our first one. I do appreciate you guys. Look forward to the T-shirts. They will be coming out in the next week or so. Uh, thank you so much to my brother Gary for coming and doing this first interview with me. Um, do you have any last words to tell everybody about their rights or anything or God at all? Um, I'll tell you what. The, the thing I do want to say, and it's, it's related to the Second Amendment and all of our other amendments in our Constitution. Uh, that wasn't given by man. That was given by God. Absolutely. And the Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior. Mm -hmm. And I welcome everyone Absolutely. to believe in Him. Absolutely. Um, that's the only way to heaven. Absolutely. No, that's, that's very well said, Gary. Thank you so much, guys. And as always, I love you. You take care. And I'll see you in the next one.